I wonder if I'm upside down. Hello, everybody. Let me see. I am upside down. Okay. Let me see if I can change this without moving my stand and without messing anything up. We shall see. Okay. Are we good? Hello, everybody. Whoo, okay, that was my stand. Um, I It got messed up when we moved everything around and it got, it like loosened up. And I feel like it's sinking. Like every time I put my phone up here, it's like it's sinking. So we'll see how it goes. Hi, Gail. Hey, Julie, Kathy. Oh, my mom is watching. So did my mom make it home? Are you home, mom? I have to see. My mom left today and headed home. It's about a four hour drive. I didn't think that she would be home already. But maybe she is. Hello. Okay, so today I am running a little bit late on my projects this week. Oh, she must be watching in the car because it keeps like she keeps rejoining she's like julie was last week where it's like genie is watching like a million times <laughs> uh so she must be watching in the car um so i'm a little bit behind in my projects today i was supposed to have a video up about um blessed to craft and my august uh class my harvest meadow class um that will go up on thursday so if you didn't catch my live yesterday I shared that we um, did a little bit of tweaking, tweaking in my office. We hung my camera mount, and I shared a picture of that last night. It got um, hung up, and so that's really great. It's up now, and so I'll be able to use my regular camera, my better camera that I upgraded and then never got to use, um, to do my regular videos, which is so awesome. It feels so amazing to be able to just film and like not have to set anything up and not have to get out anything. So that's really good. And then we rearranged my desk a little bit to make it a little bit better for work. And so it took all day yesterday. So I'm a little bit behind. So today I am going to go over the brand new catalog with you guys because the fall winter catalog is live. So that's exciting. So I wanted to make sure everybody saw my monthly calendar. This is something brand new. Oh my gosh, mom, just stop trying to watch. Like all it's doing is like Jeannie is watching, Jeannie is watching, Jeannie is watching. It's so distracting. Just catch the replay, mom. I promise. It's nothing exciting. All the stuff you already know. <laughs> so I posted my calendar on the first and um, it is linked so you guys can print it out. I am like already behind in that um, it didn't, I didn't do my live yesterday. And then also my creative live for you guys for this week, cause we're not making anything today. We're just going to go through the catalogs. Um, I will do that tomorrow. So I'll be live tomorrow at 11 AM and I will do our creative project so that we don't miss that. So there's that. And then today is the brand new catalog. So the mini catalog for July through December and that is the fall winter catalog. So this has all of the brand new product um, product for Christmas and fall. And this is by far my favorite catalog we do each year. And I'm always very excited for this one. And it's beautiful this year as it always is. And then the really exciting thing is that we have another round of celebrations. So for every $50 you spend, you are going to be able to get something free out of this catalog. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to walk you through the catalog. This is a longer video. It always is. So make sure you grab something to drink, grab a little popcorn, hang out with us. And I have a lot of samples to show you guys and a lot of things to talk about. So here is the catalog. I'm gonna make sure I'm in frame. And it is 
mainly Christmas. So the very beginning of the catalog, we start out with Christmas. Now the way I do my ordering for this particular catalog is I always just go right to the back and I get all my fall stuff. And then I don't know, like in a month or so, I'll start ordering Christmas stuff. I do have a few Christmas items because we have our amazing paper party that's going to come up and I will talk about that. And so let's go ahead and get started and walk right through this catalog. Um, I always encourage you to read the message from Shelly. Um, this is Q&A, so it's not a message from her. It's some questions and answers that she does, and I love that. Our first stamp here is the um, Make a Difference stamp set. Is It is the Strong Heart, and this one is really cool. When you purchase it, um, $3 is donated to Heart Health Um support and I got this stamp set. I love it. I love the, um, when they do these, the stamp set, the make a difference stamp sets. I have used this, but I haven't put my stickers on it yet. So you'll see that I used it. Um, let's show a card. So here is a card that I made using that heart and the little penguin guy and the penguin paper from celebrations so we have that one and then we have the kits that are online these are exclusive online and i'm sure these will be coming out soon um so you can get these online they're really really affordable and fun we have a few items that are not available um they are on back order and i will walk you guys through those the uh, gingerbread peppermint, gingerbread and peppermint memory and more cards are not available. Um, but don't worry, they will be. So this is our first suite of product. I love this. My favorite part about this is the craft paper. So this is really, really awesome. I love craft cardstock. It just is that craft feel. It's not like crumb cake where it's like a cardstock feel. This is a really cool um, type of paper and I love it. It's six by six. I got some of that. I love the thickness of it. And then we have some of the red ribbon. I love the ruffled ribbon. A couple years ago we had this in all of our in colors and I just loved it. And this is the red. So the real red ruffled ribbon. I picked that up. Then we have the stamp set and die. I don't know that I will get this one. It's not one of my favorites, so I may pass on it. But I totally did pick up the sweet treats. And this is actually one of the stamp sets we use in the paper party. So if you're not familiar with the paper shares that I do, you can sign up and get all of the brand new paper from the new catalog. And then you will get a card kit for each of the designer papers. And I happen to make this card here with this stamp set and this designer paper. So I used the gingerbread paper here and I did a little bit of coloring and I don't know you can kind of see a little bit this whole paper is dusted with glitter so this is this could be one of our cards for the paper party we haven't finalized our cards yet but I love this it was a lot of fun to use so the sweet treats um, is right here you'll notice that my catalog is all marked up because I mark my catalog up. <laughs> I keep track of what I have and when I'm using items. I just ordered this set today, the snowflake set. These snowflakes are stitched, which is really, really fun. That's why I got it. And also I have an idea for a card using this greeting here. So I just ordered this today. Um, usually I wouldn't order this until closer to December, um, because I feel like I don't always have a chance to use all of the, um, Christmas stuff. So I focus on that and then I focus on winter stuff, but I had to get this right away for the stitched snowflakes. Then we have this set over here. It comes with a punch. I love this. I love the, um, 
the little string here and then the ornaments. I This card is really fun and so is this one. I think this one's going to get overlooked because I don't think that I love this card. So the card that's featured here, I don't love it. I don't love the color combo. And so I think that this set is going to get overlooked and I think it's a great set. I love the Twinkle Twinkle Christmas Star. At any time there's a punch, I always feel like a punch is easier to use at times. And then over here we have this set here, Great Tidings. I love that Stampin' Up! Um, does this kind of set. Each year they have something that is similar to that. Then we have Painted Christmas. Now this paper is really pretty. So again, when you do the paper share, the entire paper share, you can sign up for $45, get all the paper, get all the card kits. It comes with envelopes, and then you will get all of the celebration paper as well. So it is a fantastic deal to sign up for the paper share, and that is open until tomorrow. So tomorrow is the very last day to sign up. If you're waiting for an invoice, I've gotten a couple emails saying, where is the invoice? They will be going out tomorrow, and then they need to be paid by Friday, and that's when I will place my order. I really wanted to give people a little bit of extra time to sign up once I could do the catalog walkthrough because I just don't think you can really appreciate all that you get in the paper share until you see what's in the catalog. So this is the Painted Christmas and I did a card using this paper and it may be one of our paper um, party cards. I'm not sure. The only thing I wish I would have done with this card differently is I wish I would have backed my piece I stamped on with a piece of red cardstock. I feel like it gets lost in the background of the paper. So Pip and I just have not finalized our cards. She is making cards and I am making cards and then we just have to finalize what we want to use. And so this is the one that I did with that painted this is the painted Christmas so you have the beautiful gold leaves this is great with the pine cones this has great sentiments so all these die cuts are beautiful this is a set these sets here I don't know that I will get these just because um I just have so many other ideas with other things. I don't know that I'll actually make it to this one, but I do love the sentiments of this one. And I think that would be a great, it'd be really great to have. I'm sorry, I can't fit the whole thing in the frame here. So I'm trying to keep moving it around for you guys. Next, we have this set here and I love this set. This is Words of Cheer. I feel like I sort of twisted Pip's arm to get her to use um this set here let me find it here's the stamp set this i have um an idea to use this and stamp it on the craft cardstock in white embossing powder and then heat set it and i think it would be really beautiful so this also has dies that go with it and the dies cut out this word happy and then it has cheer and some other elements, but I just love this set, this happy. I just, it's so pretty. So there's this set, and this is one of the bundles you can choose from when you are signing up for the paper party. You don't have to get any of the products, but you can. So this is one of the other products we used. And you can see here, it's so gorgeous. Fun coloring, great sentiments, really love it. This is a returning favorite, and it is the Snow Wonder with the Snowman. So we had this last year, so you may already have that one. And then we have the classic, um, this, I think this is like, yeah, you can do a snow globe with this because we have the snow globe like shaker piece right here. So you can do a card with the snow um, like a snow globe and I love it you can do the scene see all the little pieces and then I love the sentiments here so you don't have to do the shaker you can just stamp it and do it flat but then you can add the extra pieces 
So that's really pretty. And then we have the, this is beautiful. This is such a beautiful set of foiled paper. It is, it says silver foil, but it has a beautiful purple tint. And then we have the encircled um, in warmth. And I believe I have that set. Um, maybe I don't, maybe I lied. Maybe I was going to get that set and I haven't yet. This would be really fun for circle cards. I would like to make a couple circle cards with this set and um, and do a few things with it. So then we have the Whimsy and Wonder. Now, this is not a set I would normally gravitate towards because it's pink and purples and it's just not the traditional colors that I love, but I love this set. And I got this stamp set and the die. I love this. It's very retro, very, very like whimsical, just like the, the stamp set says, whimsical trees. I love the fonts and the sentiments on here. I love the holly. I think that's really pretty. And then I got the dies that coordinate. So you can see here there's dies. So the great thing about this is that there's going to be a couple dies that coordinate with the images, but then there's going to be a couple dies that are separate from those images. And you'll, you're going to be able to mix and match them and make other cards with the dies. So it's so fun. And then I also got the ribbon. And I accidentally ordered two sets of this ribbon, but I'm not sad about it because it's actually really gorgeous. And it's torn. So I know in the catalog you can see that it has like this texture, but then when you get it in person, the torn part of it is really, really cool. So I really love that. And like I said, I do love the color of it. I think it's going to be pretty. The paper is really gorgeous. So look at this gorgeous paper. It has foils on it. It has silver foil. Look at the snowflakes. And it's like, it's, it is like foil, but it's not. It's really different. And then it has this holographic silver piece. It has the presents. The colors are just so fun. These trees. Um, just really, really cute. Let me show you the card I made with that. And this might be one of our paper share cards. Look at how gorgeous that is. I think beautiful silver sequins would be really, really pretty on this. So you have that. Oh my gosh. Hello, Gerilyn. That is my cousin that just popped on here. Okay, so next, so there's the paper. Oh, these snowflakes are gorgeous. Look at these snowflakes, you guys. Look at how intricate they are. They're just so pretty. There I am. Took me a minute. I was trying to find that camera up there. So they're so intricate. You could color these. You can keep them white. Um, I want to spray some of these with glitter to give them a little bit of shimmer. You could paint them with the Wink Estella. Give them a little wink. And yeah, I can show the pink ribbon. Oh, was it out of range? Was I not? Oh, yeah. See, I'm all, I'm all wonky. Here's that ribbon. See that texture on the end? It's like it's torn. It's really, really different. I don't think I've ever even seen Stampin' Up! Do ribbon like this. Sorry about that. So then um, you could add a little wink to this and it would be pretty as well. I will be doing a few things with that. Next we have this. Now I... You guys, I love this sentiment, these sentiments, like the fonts on these. My mom was laughing at me because as I got my new um, computer set up, I said, I have to install all my fonts. And I said, I have like over 300 fonts that had to be installed individually. And my mom was like, is there really even that many like fonts? And I was like, mom, there's millions of fonts. And she's like, I don't even understand how you would need that many fonts. I don't even get it. And so I was laughing, but I was telling her, I really love fonts and I love having them and I'm really drawn to them. So if a stamp set has a good set of sentiments that have really pretty fonts, 
I'm probably going to get it. Oh no. Okay. I'll try to make sure I'm checking the camera and seeing what I'm doing. So this set here, it coordinates with some products that's in the celebration catalog. Let's see. I think it's this one right here. If I'm not mistaken, let me just double check. Yes. So there is some paper in the celebration catalog that you can get for free and it coordinates with this set here. And it's gorgeous. Isn't this perfect for Christmas and winter? Gail, your cat, I just sent out more catalogs today. So, and yours was one of them that I sent out. I had uh, four that came back. Um, Christine, Brenda, and there were two others that came back. I'm positive I have the right addresses, but they came back as undeliverable. So I'm going to double check that and send them back out. But Gail, you should get yours in a couple days. And it does include the celebration catalog. So these are gorgeous, gorgeous prints. I love them. See that? And I believe the punch will punch out the um, deer on here. So this is celebration paper. It's 12 by 12. You can get it for free when you place an order. And then also if you do the paper party, the paper share, even the basic paper share comes with all the celebration paper. Um, then we have this happy holidays. I, I feel like this is really classic with the these images and the holly and the sentiment. Love it. Next we have this one which is new, the snow, snow buddy better, which is super cute. Has the group of snowmen and then the sentiments. You guys know I will totally purchase that. I love my snowmen. I am still live, Debbie. This is live. You are catching it live. I am here for all the questions and all the fun. Then we have the Be Jolly Santa. Now, I love this one, but you guys know I'm probably going to pass on this one because you have to color that whole guy. And I just am not good coloring images like this, but this is super cute. I love the tree and the sleigh. It's so cute. And then down here we have Holly Jolly Wishes, which I will definitely get. Um, I love those sentiments. I'm going to set these over here to help hold everything together. Okay, next we have Sweet Stocking. This is such a cute suite of product. Here is the designer paper up close. And you can see you can cut those stockings out. I did that. Um, and I'll show you a card here with this. Uh, the paper is super cute. We have all these animals, but then we also have like the solid side. So I feel like even if you're not huge into animals, I'm not. I don't like I'm not really big into animals, but the other sides are really cute. And then some of these are really cute. My favorite is the mouse. It's because I'm backwards. That's why. That's the problem. I need to scoot over some. I'm like, why am I having such a hard time? It's just I'm totally backwards. Okay, so there's these and then the backs of them. I love the fish bowl. I mean, come on. So cute, right? So let me show you a card I made with this stuff. This, again, may or may not end up being in the paper party. I just, Pip and I have not connected to finalize. So this is so cute. I just did the stocking and the paper is super pretty and easy, easy to create beautiful cards with it. Okay, then we have the pool party ribbon and I got this. I got, I think I got all of the ribbons this time. Well, most of them because I always feel like I wait too long to get the ribbon and then I need it for something. The pool party ribbon is pretty too. It's striped. See that? So pretty. Give it a second for it to focus. 
and it's that grow grain texture so it's going to be really easy to work with you're going to be able to tie bows with it do lots of fun things we have some um this is the felt so we had felt last year too and it was in three different colors I like getting the felt and using it in my memory keeping. I don't know that I always use it in my card making, but I definitely use it in memory keeping. And then the stamp set. I don't plan on getting the stamp set. Oh, no, I did get the stamp set. I did. You know why? Because I have a project to do with it. So I got the bundle. I got the stamp set. Oh, 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 oh don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Okay, so that's going to be a total problem. This is my new desk setup and... I just realized what's going to be a problem. Oh, hear all that? That's pens falling everywhere. Okay. Okie dokie. It's okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. So I did get the stamp set because I have a project due with it. <laughs> I know, see, I always, I'm always a little, um, late to getting the ribbon and this time I just went for it. Okay, so then we have this one right here, which I absolutely love. I think I will have to get it. This one here, such fun. We have some returning, a returning favorite. This is the brushed metallic. And I love this. I totally stocked up on this last year because it was just fun. Okay, so I have a whole bunch of stuff to show you guys. This is one of the things that I will be featuring a ton of this month. So my featured items this month are going to be the Harvest Meadow, which is at the back, and then the Penguin. So this is the Penguin stamp set, and then there is a punch that coordinates. And then... There is some designer paper, which I do not have in front of me. So we're just going to do a card share. We have this one. You guys are going to be blown away this month when you see the cards that we've made using the, um, this set. There's some designer paper in the celebration catalog that you can get for free when you place a $50 order and then there's some really great um, images. And then I have just really gotten caught up in using the designer paper and punching out the little penguin and cutting out the images. So I think that, that it's fantastic. I think this whole set is fantastic. And if you stamp it or you use the paper and you just punch it out, the punch coordinates with the designer paper from the celebration catalog. And so there's so much that you can do with it. So here's the polar bear. And all my other cards are across the room from me. So I've done a ton with this. I just, I've played with it so much. So this is going to be a fantastic set to have. I just ordered this right here, this background today, the candy cane background. And I have an idea for this one already, which will be so fun. And then here is red and green foil sheets, which will be perfect. I think this is a beautiful card. Look, it's just the background. Anybody can stamp, you guys. Anybody can do this. I promise you. This is just this background stamp with the sentiment and then some foil. And then it is probably punched with the, um, the punch that has the holly. So simple, right? So then here is another background. This is this knitted to get knit together. Oh, Kathy, I would love it. She said um, she's on vacation in Colorado. It's rainy and cool here, and I would love it. Yes, I would. It's 102 here today. <laughs> so I would totally love the rain and the cool. It would make going through this catalog even better. <laughs> And then this is absolutely gorgeous. This designer paper. So this is the peaceful place. Okay. And then we have 
all of this amazing stuff, okay? Here's the Peaceful Cabin stamp and die. Then we have the snowy white velvet sheets. Now I did not get these because I don't like velvet. Um, I don't like any of it. And so I tend not to get things that have that feel to it, but it is gorgeous. And if you don't mind the feel of felt, you'll love this. And then I did get this embossing folder. So this is the um, Timber 3D embossing folder. This is the... Um, Rot like the sequence, and let me find that. I totally rearranged because I had to move. Uh, was this whole thing yesterday? I accidentally put my drawers in the wrong place, and we nailed everything down. And so I had to rearrange all. Like I had to take everything out of my drawers, um, and then move them around. And so some things have got shifted, but I do have this. Oh, I wanted to show it. I should have tried to pull it. It's some of the prettiest sequins we've ever had. Let me just see if I can go through this and if I can find it. Is that it? Nope, that's not it. Is this it? Yes, here it is. Okay. So here is the sequence. Look at how gorgeous it is. I will definitely be stocking up on this. Oh, you guys stop with all the beautiful weather. No, I'm really happy for you, for everybody who's enjoying the beautiful weather. I wouldn't wish hot weather on anybody. So I'll be happy for you guys, but you're killing me. Killing me with the fall, winter weather. I guess just probably fall right now. Probably not quite winter. Look how gorgeous this paper is. I promise you guys you want to join the paper share. I promise you guys it'll be, you will have the best time. We do so many fun projects. You get all of the paper, plus you get several other projects. We do exclusive projects in the group. And even if you can't be on Facebook, we email everything out. And you have access to it um, forever. Like once you get it, you have access to it. You don't have to rush through the projects. There's no worry with that. And let me show you some of the cards I've made with this. This one was one of my favorites. Look at that. This is literally just designer paper with a sentiment on it. I mean, you cannot get prettier than this. Look at that. I made this and I was like, I cannot believe that I made this. And it has this foil to it. Oh, it's so pretty. I literally made this card the minute my paper came. It is not too late to join the paper party, um, the paper share. Um, you, you, I think you did, Debbie. I think you joined. Invoices go out tomorrow. Um, so, and then this one is just die cut. And then we have the happy. I think you did too, Christine. And your catalog came back, Christine. I sent it out and I'm positive I have the right address. I don't know why it came back to me. So I have to repackage it because it's been through the mail. Um, so I will repackage it, but then I'm gonna send you an email to double check to make sure I have the right, but I'm positive I do, unless you've moved in the last week. <laughs> um, but your cattle, I will get it back out to you today. Um, so there's those two. I just love this paper. And one of these will be in our paper party. Uh, so this is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, no, Christine, don't feel left out. I'm so sorry. My husband brought it back to me today and was like, this came back. You have the wrong address. And I was like, no, I don't. Like, I know what I'm doing, people. <laughs> Our post office has gotten really bad recently, unfortunately. This is the stamp set that goes with it. So I'll totally get it back out to you. No worries, Christine. And then just uh, let me know if your address has changed. But like I said, I really don't think it has. Um, okay, so then this is the polar bear set, which is really cute. My husband loves polar bears. He just texted me. I It was a photo um, I didn't get a chance to check it out, obviously, because I'm live, but he just sent me a photo. He's at the pool with the kids. 
that's how hot it is here today. They all went up to the pool and they are swimming and I am working, <laughs> which I don't mind. I don't mind. So this one is a great set. I love when we have these sets here that have these giant Christmas ornaments because they are so fun to watercolor. If you, um, are one that I don't like coloring. You guys know that. But if you're one that that doesn't maybe like coloring, these are so fun. You get them and then doing the watercoloring either with your watercolor pencils or with our inks um, are so fun. And I will probably be doing that um, because they're easy to do and they just make it really fun. It's also really fun to stamp these with embossing, like to do clear embossing or white embossing and then watercolor a background over it. And then the, the embossing powder will resist the color. And so then you have this really easy, um, beautifully colored ornaments that you didn't have to take any time at all because you're just doing like a watercolor background. Those are really fun. Okay. Then we have, um, over here, a returning favorite, the red velvet, which is like the white velvet. And then this stamp set, and I'm going to go grab something to drink really quick. You guys, I'm thirsty. No worries, the fridge is right by my, my office. So I'm just gonna grab a little drink. It's hot down here and I'm getting thirsty. Thank you for sharing the video. I appreciate that. If you are on YouTube, I'm not live once you're seeing this on YouTube, but the paper share link is down below in the YouTube description. And I will also share the paper share link um, when I'm done with this video here on Facebook for anybody who wants to sign up. Okay, so we have this set here. And <laughs> I love the embossing folder of this. I, I, I don't know if I've shared this in the past before or not, but I don't like angel stamps. So it, this may just be me. This may be a weird thing. Uh, but I always associate angels with death. Is that weird? And so I just can't bring myself to buy like stamp sets like this. I, it's like, I feel like it's like the angel of death. Like, <laughs> is that weird? I don't know that I should admit that, but that, so I, I won't purchase this, but I do really love the sentiments. I really think the sentiments are beautiful. And if you don't associate <laughs> the angels with death, this is a pretty set. Um, also, I don't know how to color these. Like, you know, I always think of angels like just in like white and like gold. And so I don't really know how to color them or this one it's done in pink and then this is embossed and it's beautiful. The projects are beautiful. Okay, next is The Merriest Moments, and this, I love this. I love the poinsettias, the holly. I mean, this is beautiful, and I definitely will get this. Now, remember, when you get it in a bundle, you save 10%, so that is super nice when you're able to do that. Okay, so here's a little bit, some disappointing news. Um, this is the Black um, Blackberry Beauty. And unfortunately, this designer paper is on back order. So that is a real bummer. Um, I cannot wait to get this because I feel like this is really different for Stampin' Up. This purple, I know that there are lots of people who like purple um, crafty stuff and you don't see much of it. It's not something that's very, um, like it's not very accessible because not a lot of people like it but I feel like this is so gorgeous gorgeous and it has the gold accents and then it has this gold ribbon uh, like I just cannot wait to get my hands on this paper I was hoping that they would have it ready by um today when the catalog went live but it is not available as of yet And then we have the gold 12 by 12 shimmery vellum. 
that is really pretty as well. I really love that. So I will definitely, once we get this, I will definitely be getting it. Okay, next up is two pages that I'm getting nothing from. So this set here, I don't even know. You guys, I don't even know how to use this. The sentiments are great. I really love them. I love the font pairing, but I just don't get this stamp set. Let me know if you get this. If you're like, oh my word, I totally need that. I'm getting it on my first order. Are you crazy? How could you not love it? Let me know because... I'm just not sure about this one. And then over here, we have gorgeous leaves, which are gorgeous. They are absolutely gorgeous. I love the splattering and the wood. So I guess I can't say that I'm not going to get it, but I am most likely probably going to pass on this one because I have other leaf um, stamps. Um, if I did get it, I would get it for these three images. And then are these... Uh, leaves are they stitched no they are not if the leaves were stitched I'd probably cave and get it um, they will fit in your mini machine so that's also nice and then we are on to one of my favorite sets here and this is the pretty pumpkin I want to make sure we get all of this in here so here are the dies Um, and then here is the stamp. Oh, you guys, this is so, so gorgeous. This is detailed pumpkin. And what I love about this is you have the pumpkin and you have, like, I, I'm going to show you a bunch of samples I've done with this. But then also you have a couple pumpkins on here that are not in the stamp set. So you can get a lot of different looks. Uh, let me show you. Let me grab this too. Let me grab two more things. Okay. So here's one. Oh no, I just knocked over a whole bunch of more stuff. Oh no. Okay, so here is a card I did with this pumpkin. And you can see I just cut it out and put it on the card and I think it's amazing. Like so simple, a couple layers of designer paper and then um, your pumpkin and it's like done, done, right? So I love that. And even though this is in the Blackberry kind of, Blackberry Beauty kind of suite of product, I'm actually using this in our Blessed to Craft projects for the month and look how gorgeous this is so here's one of the cards we'll be making I'm so sorry you guys that I am backwards it's just the way my camera and my phone went into my then we have this one I always say that I love coloring pumpkins it really gives me a um, I'm able to practice coloring in a really easy way with pumpkins. Like they make it so easy. So that's our second card. And then this is our third card. And with um, your Blessed to Craft kit this month, you're going to get the cork. You will get linen thread. You're going to get some embellishments that you'll see, but these are the cards that I made with this and I just love it. So that is the Pretty Pumpkin set. Let me set those aside. Um, and then we have this one here, which is another fun set. This is Nuts About Squirrels. And I love it, it's really cute. This uh, was said that it looked like it looked like a rat. So if you're really into Halloween and you wanted to do something with a rat, you could totally do that. And what I love about this is you guys are probably going to guess it. You don't have to color these guys because you just get to stamp him. Let 
Uh, Kathy said, dang, I'm going to break the bank again this month. I need this pumpkin set. You do. You do need the pumpkin set. Everybody needs the pumpkin set. So there's the squirrel set. Now we're into Halloween. Now I'm not a huge fan of Halloween when it's scary. I always manage to find a few projects to do. I always do a mini class because I do know that there are several of you guys that love the Halloween projects. Um, so I knew what you meant, Kathy. I totally knew what you meant. Uh, so I am a big fan of when things are cute. And this is the cute Halloween suite. And the paper is really fun. I love that Stampin' Up! is doing this where it's like really colorful and fun on one end. And then on the other side, it's black and white. So you have these really colorful, fun sets. And then you have like this black and white. And I really, really love that. So these are fun. These are going to be fun to color. I really want to color all of these with my blends. And you can get a really different look. I think that would be fun. So we have these. I've used, oh, let me show you the card. Well, I think I've already showed you guys the card I made with this that could be featured in our paper party. I love our paper party. It is one of my favorite things that we do um, because we just get to craft and have fun and dive in and use the products we're purchasing. I don't know about you guys, but in recent years, I've just felt like I purchase too much and I don't use it. I purchase the things and I get excited about it and then I don't use it. And the paper party is a great way to get all the paper, see what you really like, what you're really gonna use, and then actually get to use that paper right away. And when I use something right away, or when I use up something, if I use all of the embellishments on the sheet or all of the ribbon, it is just so satisfying to know like, I actually made this, I actually did this, like I created this. So this is the card that I made that we might feature. I love it. It says Happy Halloween on it. And it has this beautiful, beautiful design. So, so I don't know that I will get this. I'm probably not going to get the stamp set. I will get the ribbon. Um, I don't love these treat boxes, these tombstone treat boxes. I think the tombstones we had a couple years back were much cuter. So I'm probably going to pass on these. Um, but I will get the ribbon and then I will pass on this set, but I will show you the Halloween set that I got. I actually got this one here. So I got this one and this will be my Halloween mini class will feature this set here. And it's super cute. It's red rubber. It has the really fun um, images and then it has these great dies, the cobwebs the tags um so cute i just love them the owl it, it just could not get cuter so i really love this one and i will be using that one this one is a cute set as well i really went back and forth between this one and the other one i love this pumpkin and this cat <coughs> sorry guys um, and then a returning favorite, black glimmer paper. Yes, please. You guys know I stocked up on a ton of this last time we had it several years ago. Oh, Kathy said, I got the tombstones. I know the grand boys will get a kick out of them. Do you, have you played with them yet, Kathy? Are they easy to put together? And my other question is, is like, could you make them darker like could you use ink or spray them like would they hold up to like coloring them darker you could also add designer paper to them i don't love their finish that's one of the things i don't love about them but you could add designer paper to them to spruce them up as well so i'm glad we have the black glimmer paper um, back because it's one of my favorites and i will stock up again so that i have enough of it when it goes away again okay so now we're into the harvest meadow again one of my favorite sets the paper's gorgeous so i 
only got one pack and look what I have left because I've made so much with it. So I've used it a ton. And let me show you some cards I've done. So there's this one. There's this one. Of course, the blessed to craft ones I showed you guys. And then my favorite card kit is this this month. So if you order $35 or more from me, I will send you this card kit to make. You'll get all of the pieces to make it. The pumpkin will not be, you'll have to have the pumpkin set to add the pumpkin and then you'll just add your own sentiment, but I will send you everything else to be able to make this card. Um, and it comes with a PDF, um, featuring it. And then here's one of my favorites with it. I love that. And then, like I said, the blessed to craft ones that I showed you. So if you signed up for Blessed to Craft, or if you are signed up for it, um, you will get a quarter pack of the designer paper. You will get a whole pack of linen thread. You will get a whole sheet of these embellishments. I was telling my Stampin' Up! Um, Blessed to Stamp community this morning um, that I lost the entire, I had the entire pack of this, a brand new pack of the brushed metal adhesive back dots. I lost it. And even tearing my office apart yesterday and doing everything we did, I still didn't find it. I don't know what happened to them. I think they got thrown away on accident. So these are gorgeous. You'll get a whole pack of that and then you'll get the three cards to make and then you will get a, a quarter pack of this cork specialty paper which is really really gorgeous it is really gorgeous it's not thick like cork it is like paper but it has a cork feel to it it has been so fun to work with I've loved working with this um, Kathy said, yes, so easy to put together. You could probably make them darker. I haven't tried that yet. So that's good to know. Thank you for sharing with us, Kathy. I did get this embossing folder. This is the time worn, um, 3d embossing folder. I loved it. So I really love everything in this suite. And then I also got the ribbon. This ribbon is a little bit thicker than what you would think. When I got it, I was like, oh, this is a little thicker. It's gorgeous. You could dye this by using your reinkers. You could color it with your blends or with your writer markers, and you could totally get a different look. I think this would be really pretty in just jade. We should try that. Or soft succulent. Let me grab, I think this is soft succulent. Oh, this is just jade. Let's try it. So this is my just jade blend. This is the light one and then that's the dark one. So I would just use my brush tip. Look how pretty that is. And just press, use the side. Don't use the tip, just use the side. Look at that, that's the light. This one's the dark, that's already pretty dark. This won't snap. Huh. Oh yeah, that is darker. That is darker. Look how pretty that is. I like the dark on there. It gives you a different look. So this ribbon is gorgeous. You're definitely gonna want that. Okay, let me get back in frame. It's a little delayed, so let's make sure I'm in, in frame. Okay, 
Next, this is the stamp set that is in this Harvest Meadow um, set. I don't, I don't really care for it. That's why I got the pumpkins. I think the pumpkins pair much better with the sweet, if you ask me. And then I feel like it's really weird because then there's like Christmas stuff again. This is a returning favorite. This is the Heartwarming Hugs 12 by 12 designer paper. Honestly, I did not get this because I had it last year. I did so much with it. And I love all of the paper that we have this year. However, if you did not love the gingerbread paper up front here, this paper here, if you didn't love this, this heartwarming hugs paper would go really well with all this. Like you could make all of these cards with this other designer paper and it would totally work well. Then we have these, uh, this sentiment set. I love it. I think it's beautiful. I love the scriptiness to it. I love that it stretches all the way across the card. I think that's really cool. And then this, what they did here is they took the decorative masks, which are up front here. I just ordered these today. These decorative masks. And they took the embossing paste and they did the snowflakes over the designer paper. Now, how cool is that? I love that. Next, we have the Merry Christmas Grateful Wreath and Die. I believe I just ordered this today. I believe this was on my order for today. I'm not sold on it. This is something I rarely do. I usually only order if like if I have a project to do or I'm really sold on it, if I'm on the fence, I always have to wait and see if like something catches my eye, but I just feel like this set is going to be really fun and a little bit outside my comfort zone. So I thought I would try it. On this side, we have this set here. Now I know we have the Christmas ornament and we have the bats. And I love this because it has the different sentiments like you're such a blessing, birthday wishes, Merry Christmas, ho, 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 trick or treat, thank you. I don't particularly like these, this font. And so it really turned me off from the set. I just don't know that I want it because I don't love these. If these three were different, I totally probably would go for it. Next, we have this set here. I really don't get it, you guys. I really don't. I really don't understand this set at all. And I don't really think it's pretty either, unfortunately. So I sort of skipped over all of this because I just, I'm not impressed, unfortunately. Love this set. This is a great set to have. Um, these dies are very intricate and very fun. Like if you get these and you do these um, where you cut them out, all you have to do is really add them to designer paper, add them to a background that you've created. These tags are so fun. Um, this is so, like, this is the size of a tag. Uh, did I miss that? The music embossing folder. I did not get that, but I plan on getting it. Um, I think that there's a ton of ideas for it. The reason I like that music embossing folder is because you can use it on more than just holiday cards. Like, wouldn't it be fun to do a birthday card with that? And like, do that as a background, like the happy birthday song. Like, I immediately when I saw that, I actually thought of birthday cards more than I thought of holiday cards. And I think that is back here. Is that with the angel? I want to say it's like with the angel. I totally missed it where it was. Oh, my 
I think I went too far. But immediately, those are the, the first idea I had the first time I saw it. Oh, I'm not sure where it's at. It'll be back here in the back when we look at the back. Let me find my place again. Okay, so then I did get this set here. Just, I'm a big fan of um, big sentiments. And I love this boo. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Boo. I love it. Um, this is red rubber. Um, and will be great for simple cards. Um, I love that one. It was on my first pre-order. It is a ref it's a reflection of the cabin on water, frozen water. Oh, Kathy, I need to see what you do with it then. Because I really wasn't impressed. I really was like, what is this? Then I really, really love this one. This makes me feel like a throwback to when I first found Stampin' Up. They had sets like this. And I really loved them. And we haven't had them in a really long time. I did this card with it. And I just love it. I love how simple it is. It's just really great. And then it has all the sentiments. This is part of the paper party as well if you want to get this. And then, of course, I picked up this one. Now, this one has a bit of coloring that you have to do. That's okay. I think it'll be okay. I think I can manage. I really love this guy here. And the sentiments, you guys, is what sold me. If the sentiments and the fonts had been different, I wouldn't have done it. But they were gorgeous. I loved them. And I thought, oh, the images are so cute. Hey, Laura, it's okay. No worries. I love this card that they did with the circles and then the I really want to do that one and then I love this I think it's fun maybe I will try to do that one as a case card then we have the borders now I skipped I skipped this one all together because again I just there's so much other there's so many other things that I have ideas for right away I didn't immediately have ideas for this one so maybe if if I see something that sparks my interest I might but I might I might skip it too okay so then we have the bundled and say, like when you bundle together, you save on these and they just go through the um, all the bundles. So we've already talked about them. Um, there's great projects that you can case and look at, which is nice. Then catalog at a glance, we have all of the stamps. I want to see that embossing folder is what I'm looking for. All of the punches. The dies. Okay, so this one right here, Mary Melody 3D Embossing Folder. It's on page 42. Let's go back because I missed that. I skipped right over it. Oh, yeah, it was with the angel. Mary Melody 3D Embossing Folder. Hey, hey Myra. So I definitely will get that... Um, like I said, I think it would be cute. Like immediately when I saw it, I thought birthday. And then I just want you to be careful when you get this. If you want this embossing folder, I thought it was two different embossing folders. This is on page 59. It is one embossing folder, you guys. This one right here. The lighting is not great here in my office. It is one embossing folder, and I thought it was two, and I was like, oh yeah, I totally want to get that embossing folder, those embossing folders, but then I realized it's one, and I don't really like the look of it as one. You may love it, and you may be like, oh yeah, that's such a like clever idea, it's so cool. Um, I just was like, oh, I'm not sure about that. I want them to be separate. So be careful with that. Here's the dies, embossing folders. Here's all the papers. So when you join the paper, 
um, share. You get all of these, you get um, all of these papers here. You, this one is not included because it was included in the last, in last year's paper share. So you get all of these and then you get a card kit to go with each of the designer papers that you'll be able to make. Comes with pre-recorded videos and a PDF so you can follow those to make the cards. And then there is a paper party that features a minimum of four other exclusive projects that we don't share anywhere else. And it's okay if you don't wanna join the party, you'll still get the email with all of the links to all of the things, which is really fun. You also get a pillow gift um, included in your kit and um which is really nice because it's more product and then all the papers that you'll be able to see if you which ones you really like um so you know what to order and then here's more of our specialty papers the craft the velvet papers the cork paper glitter papers embellishments and packaging and then what i don't want you guys to miss is this I just ordered this today. I had to wait to order this particular set um, until the catalog went live and I ordered it immediately this morning. It reminds me of greeting card kids. If you guys have been with Stampin' Up! for a while, you may recall, recall that set. It's like an updated um, version of that and I love it. So I totally ordered this. This is Seasons of Fun. When you place a $150 order, you can get this set for $12. So you put it on your Stampin' Rewards and you get that set. Um, and then there's another set here. Um, I This is pretty as well. I like it. Um, but this I could not wait to get. And then that is this catalog. So now let's dive into the celebration catalog. So if you are new to Stampin' Up! and this is your first time seeing celebrations, it's really cool. For every $50 you order, there are items in here that you can get for free. For either $50 or $100, there's a couple items that when you spend $100, you can get it. This is really fun. And the other fun thing about celebrations, I think it's in the back is when you join Stampin' Up! by buying the purchase, by purchasing the starter kit, um, you get $125 in product for $99. So you get $26 in product for free. It ships to you for free. You pick out your own product. This is not product that is already in a package and you just get it. You get to pick $126 in product. Then it ships for free. And then you get to choose any of these bundles right here in the back of the catalog here. There are several bundles and you get one of those bundles for free. So you'll get to pick any of these bundles here. And there are some from the holiday catalog. We have the Penguin Place. Frosted Gingerbread, Christmas Season, Christmas Remember, Whimsical Trees, that's probably the one I would pick, Peaceful Deer, Sweet Little Stockings, so the ones with the little animals, Peaceful Cabin, Gorgeous Leaves, Nature's Harvest, there's several of them. So it's a fantastic deal to purchase that starter kit and get your free product, get it shipped to you for free. Get a free bundle and then you save 20% on all your orders. So I am here for the savings, right? So let's go through and take a look at the product. Oh, did you guys hear that? Stuff is falling all over the place. Oh, I'm going to have a mess to clean up. Okay, so the first item is the Bedazzled Glimmer Paper. If you are part of Blessed to Craft, you got some of this last month. I made sure to send everybody a couple pieces of this. We used it on a couple of our projects, um, I think, or we will be this month using it. It is really different. It's like glimmer paper, but it's chunky. It's like sequins have been smashed and flattened. And it's so cool. It's not gold, it's not silver. It's like a combination of both. It is, the first of all, this picture does not do it justice. When you look at this picture and you're like, oh, that looks pretty ordinary. 
I think I'm going to pass on it. Then you get it in person and you're like, what is this? It doesn't flake off. It has the best texture. I just, I love it. I love this. I did not think I would like this as much as I do. It's gorgeous. Um, let me show you guys a card. Um, this is one of our cards for blessed to craft this month. And look at how gorgeous that is on there. It just picks up the light. I, I can't even. It's so, so pretty. I love it with the Just Jade and the Soft Succulent um, color. I just love it with those. But those are definitely my colors. You guys know. So there's that. So when your order is $50, you get a pack of that for free if you want. That's one of the items you can pick. The next item is the penguin paper and I grabbed a pack of it so that I could show you guys. I have gotten so much of this paper because I just know I'm going to create so much with it. You guys are going to see me make quite a few projects with this paper. Again, that punch coordinates with this paper so you can punch that little guy out. I love it. I love it. I love it. And please know celebrations is going to happen all of August and all of September, but if items sell out, they will not be restocked because it's such a short period of time um, that we cannot, Stampin' Up! cannot restock them. So whatever is in inventory is in inventory. So um, I definitely would get my hands on any of the items you want, particularly the um, items that are consumables, like paper, Stamp sets, Stampin' Up! makes their own stamp sets, so that's not such a big deal. But um, anything that is consumable goes really fast. Kathy said, thanks for sharing your card. I'm not sure about the glimmer paper. <laughs> it is gorgeous, Kathy. You will not be disappointed if you get that glimmer paper, I promise. So that's the next one is the 12 by 12 designer paper. If you're part of Blessed to Craft this month and next month and you choose the add-on product, whatever it happens to be for the month, this month it is the pretty pumpkin stamp set and dies you get a celebration item in your kit um so please be aware of that if you're part of blessed to craft um i like to make it super simple and super beneficial for all of you that join me for blessed to craft you get product to try out so you can see how you like things you always get all of your catalogs first they go out the month before to everybody and then you also get the perk of getting stamp and stamps and dies without the tax and shipping so you save on that and then you also get like this you get celebration items for those pieces. The next set of, uh, oh, the next, I don't know if I have this one. I did not get this stamp set um, because it's just not my style. This is the Feels Like Home. And it's just not my style. It would be great for fall. I feel like it's a great fall set, um, but it's just not my style. And then I have the beautiful, beautifully penned designer paper. This is just a black and white set of paper. It's nothing spectacular. I wish they would have done a fall set um, instead of this set here. It's okay. It's just not, it's really not my favorite. Next is this designer paper that I showed you already, the Peaceful Prints. This is free with fifty with a $50 order. Here's a beautiful slimline card. A tag and a regular card. Here they added stripes to that designer paper using a blend marker. That's a fantastic idea. Next, we have the Sheep stamp set, which is free with a $50 order. And then you can get the dies for free with a $50 order. So if you spent $100, you could get the stamp here, the Celebration Counting Sheep, and then the die that goes with it. I have a thing for all of our animal sets, so I had to get it. Super cute. 
Next is this stamp right here. I love this one and I recently made this card with it. Has a little bit of gold on it, some gold embossing and these beautiful shapes. I thought it came out really great. I used a sentiment from another set. I actually used the sentiment from this set here. So these two stamps. Um, so if you ordered, if this was on your orders and then you picked this for free, um, you could make this set. I love the splatters. The I just love having a set like this. It adds so much to your cards. Um, so this is definitely one I think that you will want to pick up. And that is the card that I made. I love that they did this. This is the dies that coordinate with the summer shadow dies. I love these. I really, really love these. And then there is this set here. This is free with a $100 order. And this you can do two different ways. You can just stamp. The, well, actually, I think there's like four different ways you can get different looks with this. I haven't um, played with it yet. It is a photopolymer set. It is distinctive, which means you can stamp this and it looks realistic. Lucy said, that is a beautiful card. Would not have thought to use it that way. The one with the gold splatters, this one right here. And you could do this in many different color combos. This is just the color combo I picked and then I added gold. You could do a Christmas, like Christmas colors, red and green with it and do a Christmas greeting. You could do the silver. There's just tons of different things you can do with that stamp set. And we will definitely be using that over the next couple months. So there's this one. I don't know that I will dive in and use this one quite yet um, because I'm just really excited to dive into fall and winter and Christmas projects. And I feel like this might get set aside, um, but I do like it and I was glad to pick it up. Okay, and then next is the host. Um, you can get this free when your order is $300 or more. Um, you can also um, get together with a friend and put in an order with a friend and or a couple friends. Um, that would be fun. If anybody's interested, I'm always willing to do like a live for you guys where we do like a Zoom and I... Um, put together a project and share with you and do a like host. Um, if you want to do a party, I'm always willing to do that. Um, just reach out and we can totally work something out. Um, but you will get this for free um, when that order reaches $300. And then here is the join special, which I already talked about. So that is the celebration catalog. That is the mini catalog, which features the fall and winter product. I'm very excited with all of this product. Um, it is really fun, all of it. Um, I cannot wait to create more. I mean, you guys, I have been creating so much with this catalog. It's unbelievable how many projects I have created in the last couple weeks because I've just been so excited for this catalog. So I hope that you got a lot of good ideas. All of the links I will share if you're interested in Blessed to Craft, I will share a link for you to join that. I will have a post dedicated to that on Thursday. If you are interested in the paper share and getting all of the papers, including the celebration papers, then um, I will leave a link. Tomorrow is the very last day to sign up because I absolutely need to get my order in on Friday for that. So tomorrow is the last day to sign up and invoices will go out and that link will be in the YouTube description as well. This video is going up on YouTube right away. There will be chapters at the bottom so that you can manage your way through all of the things. And if you have any questions, please let me know if you've placed an order with me today. Thank you so much. I have been busy doing admin stuff and getting mail out and getting this live up. So I have not had a chance to get into my email all that much. 
Um, but I have seen a few orders come through. So if you've ordered from me, um, you will be getting your My Favorite Card Kit, which is this. In the mail, I will get that sent out. And all orders over $50 will also not only earn a celebration item, but I will also send you the metallic adhesive back gems. So you will get those as well. So as always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I will be back tomorrow at 11 a.m. and we will be creating a fun project. Um, so that will be really fun. And then, like I said, Thursday, I will have my Blessed to Craft post for you guys. And Friday, I will be live on YouTube to create with you. So a very, very busy week. But that's, it's good. It is good to be back. So thank you guys so much. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow when we create together. And I hope you have a wonderful day.